Good afternoon, this is Sean Nixon with the Autonomy Project for E7361 Embedded Systems. This is the final presentation video where we're going to demonstrate the mind-controlled wheelchair. I'll turn it over to Aaron Collins to talk about some of the principles of brain operation. So the idea that we wanted to work off of to make this mind-controlled wheelchair work is, a, is an idea called neuroplasticity, where our mind actually can rewire itself and make new paths to um, like after an injury and things like that. So the idea is that over time your brain starts recognizing s this unique um, set of frequencies, this unique set of brain waves to activate the, the wheelchair. And eventually as you utilize that, that set of frequencies, eventually it'll become like an extra limb. And so this person who usually wouldn't have any mobility, um, they can hardly even use a joystick, would be able to um, actually just drive it as if they were walking. Thank you very much, Aaron. Let's go over to Bob to talk about some of the technical details. All right, so easier said than done saying that we're going to control a wheelchair with our minds. We had several different components that caused several different errors, but easy ways to overcome them, thankfully. We have the board, which has the code, that will tell the motors when to drive when it receives the desired signals. We have our Bluetooth antenna, which connects to the computer when the computer has received the signals and sends those signals to the board, letting it know that it can drive. The computer has the code uploaded to the Arduino, but the computer is our our translator between the board and the headset. The headset, which Steven is wearing, sends the signals of the brain measurement and the frequencies of the thoughts to the computer. Computer tells the Bluetooth, which tells the board, and then you get... Motion. Motion. Steven, make it go. Now, it's going to be slightly difficult to see, but this is a printout that the Arduino is doing in real time of the various attention levels and data that the headset is sending. When the attention gets to a specified threshold, as you can see, the wheels will roll. Thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Autonomy of the Wheelchair, and we hope you have a wonderful day.